Okay, these are the drills for next stability and mobility. And the first one we're gonna do is you have a, you can use a pen. I'm using a stick with letters and you hold it up here and you're gonna do it. You're gonna go, you're gonna do this, keeping your eyes on the pen. Think like there's a diagonal line and you're drawing the line with your nose. Keeping your eyes on the target, you come back. Go down. I like you to close your eyes when you come back. Go down, close your eyes. You come back, go down, close your eyes as you come back slowly. You do three to five reps and then you do it on the other side. Go down, keep your eyes on the target, close your eyes. Come back to center, down, close your eyes, come back to center, down, close your eyes, come back to center. So you're doing those three to five reps on each side. And remember, go down and close your eyes as you come up slowly. The next one that you're going to do is using the same, same equipment, except now, you are going to follow the target with your eyes moving your head and neck only. So you're gonna go up and then come down in a diagonal pattern like that. All right, you'll do three to five in that direction. And three to five in this direction. You come back up. So you do three to five of those in each direction. Now we're gonna get to the sensory, then the nerve glide, etc. So for sensory, I'm showing you with a towel. You rub on, on both sides of the front of your neck, all the way front of your neck, like 10 to 30 seconds. Then you do the same thing at the back of your neck, 10 to 30 seconds. It's the first thing that you'll do. Then you will, what you will do, you will, Use this bone as your um, the area where you're moving your shoulder blade from. So the first one is move your shoulder blade forward, move this bone forward and pull it down. Then you're gonna side bend your neck towards that side, the side that you're, you're, you're doing and you're going to bend your neck back. All right, and then you come back up. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna do that movement three to five times on each side. The next one that you're going to do is we're gonna do um, a stretch and strengthening for the muscles in front of your neck. We're gonna do it for the, the tra upper traps and the middle of your shoulder blades. So we'll start with the muscles that run along your throat. When this one is called the longest coli and to stretch it, what we're going to do is, so we're doing here on the right side, you would side bend to the left, rotate to the right, and then bend your neck back and hold one, two, three, four, five. 
and that's a stretch. The contraction is the opposite. You'll side bend to the, to the right this time, rotate to the left, and then bend your, your neck down and you feel it along the throat on the right side. And you hold for five. So you're going back and forth between these two and you could do it three to five times. If you want to, you could do it on both sides. Then another part right up here, how we're gonna do this, we're gonna do the same thing we just did, except this one, there is no rotation. So to stretch, you would side, we're doing, if we're doing the right side, you would side bend to the left and bend your head and neck backwards, what we call extend. Pound the five and you feel the stretch right up here. And then the contraction, the side bend to the right and then bend your head and neck down. And you feel the contraction right up in that area or for count of five. And you go back and forth three to five times. The next one is for those muscles that are, um, the muscles right here. So again, now we're gonna move the, the scapula. We're using our shoulder blade. We're using this bone as the reference. You will pull that bone down and bring, and bring it forward, right? You hold that position. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna side bend your neck away Rotate your neck towards and bend forward. Two, three, four, five. Right? That's a stretch. So there we go again. We bring the bone down and forward. We side bend our neck away. Rotate towards the side and then bend our head and neck down. And you get a stretch right across here. Hold that for five. Then the contraction is the opposite direction. This bone will go up and back. Your side bend towards this side, rotate away, and then bend your head and neck backwards to three, four, five, all right? So you will go back and forth again, three to five times. And then for the middle part of the muscle, it's simple. You just, to stretch, you bring this bone forward. You'll feel it between your shoulder blades. You hold one, two, three, four, five. And then to contract it is to take this bone back. And you bring it there, two, three, four, five. And again, you would do that um, three to five times. And then you're going to, we're gonna do what we call the isometrics um, for the different neck positions to, get your range of motion. So the first one is the rotation. So what you do, you rotate your head and neck, not your trunk or shoulder. You rot your, rotate your head and neck as far as you could. You put your hand on the temple and you would then push your head and neck into your hand, trying to go further for five, five, five to 10 seconds. And then you relax. And then you rotate a little bit further, you can go, you'll find you could go a little bit further and you repeat, and then you, you could go a little bit further and repeat. You do that three times. You do that on both sides. Then you have the side bend version where you would side bend and then you would be pushing your ear towards your shoulder. Make sure you're not side bending your body, just your head and neck. You drop a little more, push into it, 
two, three, four, five, five to 10 seconds, and you go a little bit further and do it again. And you do that three times on both sides. Um, and then you would do it in extension. You can do it in, ext in extension straight down the middle or to bias one side to the other. I prefer you do it like this, where you would rotate. So if you want to bias the right side, you rotate your neck to the left and then you extend. So now you put your hand by the base of your skull and you press into it, going backwards and go a little more, press into it, go a little bit backwards. So you'll do that in both sides with that little rotation. And similarly in front, you'll do the same thing. So if I wanna bias my, my right side, I'll rotate to the right, tuck my chin, and I'm trying to take my chin towards my chest. Two, three, four, five, go a little further. Two, three, four, five, go a little bit further. And again, five to 10 seconds on that position. Now, we'll show you similarly how we use a band. So if I'm going to my left, I have this and I rotate. So I have tension on the band here and I'm rotating into tension. Two, three, four, five, relax, and I go a little further, and then I go a little further with each rep. That's how you do it with the band. Um, same thing if you're side bending. You side bend into tension, you go, and then you go a little further with each rep. And then if I'm going backwards, pushing into tension, but with the rotation, pushing into tension, pushing into tension, and then forwards, it would be like this. Now you rotate and then going into tension, into tension, and repeating just like I did with my hand. And those are your drills. Um, you want to do these like about two or three times a day, and you can use them also as your warm up before your activities and as your cool down after your activities.